Hello everyone, Wolfie 6020 was showing this magnificent observation of geostationary satellites. Oops, where did they go? Geostationary satellites disappearing in, in front of our eyes. Well, they didn't really disappear, disappear or go anywhere. Here they come again. They were just crossing the shadow of the Earth, aka being eclipsed by the Earth. So, <clears throat> he's been doing this observation for, for a few times now for the past a few days days, and the uh, the maximum time that they are going to disappear is during the equinox when the Sun is crossing the the whole radius of the Earth in relation to these geos geostationary satellites so I decided to take this a step further within my knowledge and try to calculate the time of that uh, eclipse and it's not really that hard so I have here the Earth and the distance to the geostationary satellite and uh, this these two black bands are where the sunlight is and this portion here is the shadow of the Earth and as the geostationary satellite spins with the Earth how many degrees did it cover? Well, it covered all of this angle. This green one multiplied by two. So how how can we get this angle? And you know that angles are just translated into minutes by multiplying by four. So here's how I did it and it's very simple. This angle equal, equals inverse the sine of this side by the hypotenuse, which would be 8.7 degrees, and double of that angle would be 17.4 degrees multiplied by 4. Uh, you get how many minutes, and that would be the time. Now, of course, refraction might be a factor, because an observer on the Earth here would see the sun when it's half a degree below the horizon and for the satellite this could be doubled I'm not sure really but we're going to see so that would add one minute sorry one degree at this side and one degree at this side that would be eight minutes eight minutes of light and so those eight minutes would be subtracted from this time so it would be one hour one minute and thirty seconds so we are working within that margin. I'm not sure because uh, when the when the satellite when the sun is in the atmosphere for that satellite, there will be more dimming for the light. So that's why I I decided to start with the pure geometrical, which is one hour nine minutes and thirty seconds. With uh, with refraction, it's going to be a little bit less than that. Uh, one hour, one minute, thirty seconds. So we're we're within these two numbers. So let's wait for the equinox and uh, wait for Wolfie's observation. And thank you for watching.